We just had some technical problems. I lost the stream for a moment, but we're going to jump right back into it again. And not, not just the stream, you also lost me. Like that, that's, yeah, that's, the critical that's, element really to this entire show. Um, I, I, honestly, I, I think I was talking for like a full minute and a half until I realized that, that, that you're no longer there. So uh -huh. I was like asking questions and shit, but you know, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah, are, are you uh, ready to go with that? Yeah, when you say the word go, Mickey, I will, okay, cool. I will go. So, so uh, let's just watch this scene uh, here, uh, this kind of the end of the prologue, and uh, go. My daughter, I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not s sick. Got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Okay, baby, stay with me. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. So yeah, that's a that's a lovely little moment that is is, you know, such a cheerful moment in in, in the entire uh, 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 sort of sort of like, like that kind of sets the tone for a lot of what's to come. Oh my and, god, and, it uh, gets me every time. Sorry, I'm I, like a wreck right now. Oh my god. Honestly, it's it, it's harsh and and, uh, and and yeah, like 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 when when um, <clears throat> like Sarah dies, like that that that's I mean that that's that's a pretty like a dramatic moment in itself but it also sets up everything that happens after this uh since La the last of us is all about the relationship between joel and ellie like there's you know there's the evil mushroom people or more like like the monstrous mushroom people and and uh evil humans and and cannibals and whatnot that you run into uh over the course of the game but that really sets up the dynamic for uh <clears throat> A lot of what what we are dealing with, and and I mean, personally, I have like this kind of like um, deep seated interest in in post apocalyptic fiction, um, and there's a lot of it, and a lot of it isn't very good, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Right. But but I think The Last of Us does it really really well, mm -hmm. and I think one reason for that is is because it's it's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I guess human. I like, you know, it, right. it's just like like a lot of the characters that you run into in the course of this whole thing are. The kind of people that that you can understand, you can you can you can relate to them. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I mean, even 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 the ones that are like monsters, you can understand kind of why they are monsters uh -huh. uh, and how they get that. Um, and, and it's it's also something where, where um, like everything seems to be an interesting dynamic. And 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 uh, I was talking about this earlier. I don't know if if any of this actually. Um, um, I, I don't remember. Like I, I was talking about like zombie stuff. Right. Uh, did, did you hear any of that earlier? I guess not. <laughs> any of the zombie stuff earlier? Yeah, that I was talking about. No, nope. didn't hear uh, word. Okay. Well, like, like one of the things I was saying was that was that 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 this is in a lot of ways this kind of like classic zombie tale in that you know uh, even even though the the you know uh, the mushroom people aren't 
actually zombies in, in the strict sense of the world, where mm -hmm. they, they are still, um, you know, like they are this almost like an environmental threat where they don't have any plans, they just kind of are, and then you kind of kind of have to try to avoid them, mm -hmm. which is really the kind of zombie I personally like. Like, <laughs> I, I don't really like, like, like smart zombies, like that kind of, you know, then they're, they're just like random monsters. Right. But, but, but I think the, 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 um, well, not random, but, but, but like, uh, um, you know, just like generic monsters, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, but I do like the idea of, of zombies as this environmental threat mm -hmm. that, that you kind of have to deal with, uh, in order to meet your objectives. And then the actual, the real threat almost without, uh, you know, um, like exception are humans, so it's it's almost mm -hmm. like being in a jungle and there's you know lots of tigers and bears in the jungle and they're dangerous but mm -hmm. they're kind of manageable in the end. Mm -hmm. But, but I, the problem, you know, like like the problems always always come from you know people. Uh, that's right. something like George Romero did really well in in right. uh, his films like uh, uh, you know uh, Dawn of the Dead in particular. Right. So I wanted to ask you a question about Sarah's death yeah. in this opening. You know that there's a problem with this trope in it, all across literature of sort of women being killed off in the beginning, being fridged, as Gail Simone would say, to yeah. provide motivation for men, for male characters throughout the rest of the story. Um, this game hasn't really been criticized for that, even though it's a pretty prominent feature of the, the opening movie. I mean, I haven't heard people criticizing it for that, to be honest. Uh, maybe it has been, and I don't know about it. How? What do you think about that? Do you do you think that they it sort of elevates that trope or turns it on its head, or you just don't mind it because of the rest of the game? I'm just curious how you feel about it. Well, I mean, cer certainly, I think uh, there's a lot of things that are kind of li like boring cliches, and then if you do them well enough, they no longer seem like a problem. And I think I that certainly applies here. Uh -huh. But but more importantly, um, it's. You know, like like the they the kind of sidestep that one because like literally, like yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. But also, um, so much of the game is about Joel and Ellie. Like like I I mean Sarah in the beginning, like like she's important, but you know, like and she's kind of the catalyst uh -huh. to Joel in a lot of ways. Uh -huh. But 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 the whole thing is about it's not about you know Joel being uh, motivated by. You know the death of you know the, this female character. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's kind of Joel being destroyed by the death of this this female mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't turn. You know, like it's not the thing that kind of propels him forward. It, it's right. the thing that kind of shuts him down, and uh -huh. and uh, he just goes into this like pure survival mode. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's only once you know he meet somebody else mm -hmm. uh you know like like, like i mean who really is like a daughter substitute to right. him uh a living woman who has agency and 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 is you know uh smart and clever probably actually in ways that sarah wasn't just mm -hmm. because you know he's somebody who is you know like anybody who was like that age in this world mm -hmm. is kind of like a born survivor or they just don't get to grow up right uh, <laughs> and, and sarah was just like utterly unprepared for anything like that like she just couldn't deal with it at all whereas Ellie is is very good at kind of dealing with things I mean she's a teenager and uh -huh. she's not that experienced yet uh -huh. but, but but she's got good instincts uh -huh. and I, I think that's kind of something that kind of makes it seem different to me uh -huh. uh, so and, they turn the I, trope on its head basically they sort of invert yeah, it I, I, th I think in some ways I mean it is still there though and mm -hmm. I think that that criticism is kind of valid mm -hmm. but but it's also the kind of thing where, where, where sometimes you want to show a sort of like a stereotypical situation and, and, and then kind of go in a different direction with that. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you look at something like uh, like Mad Max Fury Road where, where mm -hmm. there is, you know, like you start <laughs> looking, at, looking at the film and, and it kind of feels like, uh, oh, oh, like, like now they're taking this guy's, you know, life and car and everything and now he's going to come back and, you know, exact his revenge. Like that's kind of, that, that, that it kind of looks like that's the way it's going to go. Right. And then it goes in a totally different direction, right. and I think that's one of the things that 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 makes it work because yeah. you know you have a certain expectation, and then they subvert it in such a clever way, yeah. and also a way that feels so natural and mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they do something very similar in this thing. Um, okay, uh, good good uh, answer. <laughs> I would have to say, yeah. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. So you were talking about zombies and and how you don't <laughs> like fast zombies. Are you ready to move on to the the bill part? 
Uh, in in a sec. Uh, okay. And also, like, like, like I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a verbose boy, so I, like, I, I <laughs> will just want talking. So just like cut in when you want to cut in, because otherwise, like, I'm just gonna keep me here talking until I die or something. Oh, so, I'll cut you yeah. off before then. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta hear like a thump from this and then silence. So. Uh, but yeah. Um, so, so the other thing, like, like um, I, I like post-apocalyptic things in general. I, I think that that whole idea of of what humanity turns into, like, once you change the equation enough, is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 you know, when you have like some kind of like a zombie apocalypse kind of thing, where uh, you know existing society kind of crumbles, and then you get a sort of a new. I guess like a survivalist version of that, I think is interesting. Uh -huh. I mean, you can do it, do, do that in a bunch of different ways. And to be honest, I don't think that the way they do in The Last of Us is that interesting in itself. But because there is like this whole road trip thing that 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 mm -hmm. you're kind of going through America and you're going through like different seasons and kind of like growing with these characters, it doesn't really matter. And, and so so you just kind of get these these um, like moments uh, with different. Uh, you know, non-player characters, and, and 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 like see different aspects of their society. So you see some really awful moments, but you also see something that actually are full of hope. Like like there, there's that that one bunch of people uh, later who are living, um, you know, at at the dam. Yeah. And, and they actually have a pretty good society. Like like like, like they, they're kind of like the ray of hope in a uh, mm -hmm. like a pretty shitty world. Yeah. And 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 there is you know you kind of get the feeling like, okay like these people have it together like like they they, they haven't. You know, I mean, they're clearly like they've had to make a lot of compromises, but they haven't compromised their essential humanity right. in a way that a lot of other characters in in you know these kind of stories do. And I really like that they, that that is something that it's not like the road where everything is shit. And I mean, right. I love the road, but 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 that's something that that's kind of relentless mm -hmm. uh, in in the way you look at it. And and it, it's also something that, that's that's pretty bleak. Right. Uh, whereas you know, it, it feels like this like a more acceptable uh, or or a more I don't know. Optimistic, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, optimistic is kind of a hard word to use here, uh -huh. given that, that everybody's already dead, more or less. Yeah. But, you know, like, 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 like there is that, that whole thing that, I mean, it kind of transforms this whole situation from being like, oh, we're here in our, our world to mm -hmm. more like we're in a, you know, some kind of like like a colony mm -hmm. on Mars. Right. And the environment will kill us if we're not careful. Right. And, and, and there are so many ways for us to screw this up. Uh -huh. But, you know, if we keep it together, we can kind of do it, and and that kind of leads us to to um the next bit here with Bill. Okay. Um and and uh, and Bill is uh you know he's this this kind of um survivalist guy who owes um, Joel a favor. Joel needs a car so they can kind of do this mm -hmm. road trip. There's and of course at this point in the game, um Ellie is already um you know with us mm -hmm. in 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 the uh. uh in the proceedings, so so Joel has met this other mm -hmm. young girl, uh, and and kind of uh, you know like like he's been tasked with um, you know transporting her to these uh, scientist people who are kind of on the other side of the country, mm -hmm. and and uh, and and uh, the thing about her is that she's immune to this horrible mushroom plague thing that that just kind of keeps taking people, and there's the hope that there might be an actual cure mm -hmm. to this whole thing, and 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 and, and all this damage could be. If not reversed, at least stopped. Right. And and it's it's a really hard journey, and they kind of are going on foot a lot of the time, and now they need a car. Mm -hmm. So uh, Bill is the character who can hopefully get them the car. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think if we uh, uh, start this one playing mm -hmm. uh, right about now. Okay. <clears throat> Do you need the sound on this, Mickey? Uh, yeah, we might as well hear this. Uh... <coughs> Man, that was close. Uh, thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill. What are you doing? Bill. Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around all right. and get on your knees. Don't test me. Just... Take it easy. Right. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean! Don't I see so much as a truck. Uh, Ow! Stop! Son of a bitch! You done? Am I done? You come into my house, you set off all my traps, you damn near break my shooting arm, 
Who, who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business, and we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. You can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Is some kind of joke? I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I just...